financially if we don't get the federal government to actually pass a piece of responsible legislation. And I've said to my, uh, to the extent they care for my two cents, uh, our senators, don't pass a piece of legislation if it's not responsible. Well, then they'll say we didn't pass legislation. Yeah, say I wouldn't sign a piece of, I wouldn't pass an irresponsible piece of legislation. Better than passing an irresponsible piece of legislation, right? If those are the options, life is options. Uh, so yeah, we are at a point financially where we have a 10 to $15 billion deficit. Yesterday I was asked about, well, why not just let the raises go through for state workers? When you are broke, uh, it would be irresponsible to do these things. I do hope and believe the federal government uh, should have a more inclusive policy. But right, let's do one. Immigrants that there's no shot well, we're looking at it, but we have real financial problems right now. Hey, Governor, at a time when you were uh, talking about the importance of regional coordination, it seems Governor Murphy is allowing state parks to stay open, yet here in New York State they are closed. Is that problematic? You know, as I said, there's not going to be 100% uh, conformity of the plans. More it's understanding what they're doing, what we're doing, so we don't conflict and bump into each other, which, which has happened in the past, because people make decisions. Uh, the state parks, uh, look, I can argue it either way, right? All of these things are judgment calls, but I don't think that's especially uh, problematic either. And regarding unemployment, um, we're hearing stories of people are still not getting return phone calls within 72 hours, particularly people who are self-employed, who have uh, lengthy documentation to fill out. H has that been an issue? I don't know if it's for you. I have not heard that. Or... Melissa, do you know where that is? So again, let's do some context here. As Jesse noted, and the Labor Department is going to be putting out the figures later today, another 400,000 people filed claims for insurance in the last week, the week ending this past Friday, which brings us up to 1.2 million claims in the last five weeks. To give you guys a sense of comparison, during the entirety of the 2008 crash, New York State lost 300,000 jobs. So in terms of the volume that the Department of Labor is dealing with, just for everyone's understanding. At this point, they have done, completed 925,000 claims. There's 275,000 claims that are outstanding. Some of those people are from the last week. Some of those people, unfortunately, date back to the middle of March. Most of the people who date back to the middle of March are people who require additional forms for, as you said, people who are self-employed, people who are contractors. And so that process has been taking longer. We're working together to try to figure out the best way possible to expedite this. It's great that the system has worked better for some. If you're one of the people who are still struggling, it doesn't matter at all. And we understand that. And I sympathize with that. And I apologize for that. Um, and we're going to continue to do everything we can to bring the system up to deal with the scale as soon as possible. Let's, say, let's do one more. Somebody, go ahead. What about low-income people or homeless people who maybe might not be able to purchase a mask? Is there, there going to be a way for them to maybe pick up one or something? Yes, we're working on that, and we're working with local governments in uh, making sure people who can't uh, pay for a mask uh, can have one. Uh, remember, it's not a mask. It's a face covering, so it can be a handkerchief, a bandana, it can be a cloth covering, et cetera. It can be stylish or fashionable or just boring and plain like mine. All right, I'm going to go to work. He's feeling better. Thank you for asking. Uh, his wife now tested positive, so uh, he feels obviously you're not, we're not sure how Christina, this is my brother's wife, how she, how she got the virus, but assuming he gave it to her because she was helping take care of him, uh, he feels bad about that on a personal level. And on a practical level, he's sick in the basement. She's, uh, the, Christina's quarantined upstairs. They have three kids, so it's a practical hardship. But he's feeling better. Thank you very much for asking. Thank you.